Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Specifically, um, the first of the major DLC campaigns, the uh, Legacy of the First Blade. Because there's always room for more secret societies and ancient orders out to control the world, including a coalition of Persians and Spartans, which seems like a little bit of a stretch like I, I i feel like it's kind of uh like the writers are are getting a little bit loose with their history at this point um but whatever i'll buy into it um i've killed off a couple of the order members uh though for some reason uh one of them like he's noted as being in the he's his location is noted as being in the like the triple peninsula um, but the actual, like, space of the Triple Peninsula is, like, really vast. It's like this whole section. And the only clue is that he is in this section, which seems, um, like it could be a bit more specific. Um, oh yeah. Let's do teleport step. Chain attack. And I believe I can chain it one more time. Oh, I can chain it another time. Okay. Ooh. Excellent. I did not know there was an achievement attached to it, and clearly not that many other people knew about it as well, considering that only uh, 2%, two percent, two and a half percent of people who have played this game have that achievement. Uh, I missed the fire. There you go. Who were those people? I don't know. But they're dead now, so... And what do we have here? A fort of some sort? Clearly belonging to the government of this region. Whatever side this place sides with, I do not know. I was not paying attention. But... Uh, Cassandra plays fast and loose with those sorts of rules. Or at the very least, this version of... And what is... Why are there war supplies way over there? Because it looks like there's nothing over there. But at the same time... If there are war supplies over there, then there has to be something. It's kind of strange. There's uh, some camps that don't show up on the map. But they do exist. Although I would imagine if it doesn't show up on the map, it's probably not important, considering it contains all of these uh, four people. They're doing a pretty good job kind of covering each other, though. Because it doesn't quite look like... Maybe I should just teleport stab again. I mean, it worked the last time, so... Oh, for some reason they didn't notice me. I am very surprised none of them noticed me. Because that was kind of sloppy. You know... Can you kill horses? Do horses have a life bar? 
I don't think you can kill a horse. I mean, I haven't tried. Well, I guess I just tried. But I didn't really put my heart into it. I mean, I suppose I could try to steer a horse into the water. And then leave it there. I mean, that that's pretty much certain death for the horse. If it doesn't know how to get back to shore. Like, it might know how to, the, the horse might know. But, yeah, I don't know if, uh, like, there aren't any horse enemies. And to be fair, there really isn't that much horse combat either. Oh, okay, he is facing me. Alright. I guess I'll go around and stab this guy first. Actually, can I go around? Yeah, you can always go around. There's always a way. Hmm. Oh, now that I'm no longer at the entrance, he's turned his back. Of course, that's how it works. Now he's on fire. That's okay. Hmm. I'm disappointed by my inability to just assassinate them. Except for that guy. And I wonder if I could... Just Spartan kick him into the water. Nah, eh, it's not really worth the risk. And I probably should also fight this guy so I could get my adrenaline back. But I'll have to use my adrenaline to get rid of his shield. So if I'm fighting this guy to get my adrenaline back, and then I'm using my adrenaline to fight him, it seems like it's um, not exactly what I'm uh, trying to aim for. Okay. But it seems as if this captain has nothing to do with the order. He just died. Who's... Was he just laying here the whole time? Yeah, you just climbed um, on board a, uh, a burning building, sir. Yes, you are on fire, sir. That seems like some- um, I'm on fire now. Yeah, that seems like something the two of us need to worry about. Anybody- any other- Oh, hello! <laughs> I was gonna say, any other stragglers? You know, it's a good thing they don't witness, like, the, the that's the other weird oddity about the notoriety system. Because none of them witnessed me kill anybody, my notoriety didn't go up. And then there are cats. Oh. I'm just trying to kill you, Kitty. Yeesh. He can hit you through the cage. 
I probably should heal up, otherwise I will have been killed by this random tiger. In my attempt to muck around. Which would be very embarrassing. Maybe I could uh, set this jaguar on fire. Nope, that did not actually work. It did not set him on fire. Okay, so in an attempt to save one soldier from the other soldier, I killed both of them. But that did start a quest for somebody's money. So I can go and collect their money for myself. So all's well that ends well? Did, did, did they bury their money in a place surrounded by bears? Or has it already been looted by bears? No, there was a nearby bear, but I could just run away, so... I guess that bear was very ineffective. Hold on. Did I just send myself to a underwater location? It is literally called the Underwater Cavern, so of course it is underwater. Will I have to deal with sharks? Or tigers? Or tiger sharks? Or shark-related tigers? There's, there's a lot of... There, there's, there's a lot of danger to the sea. Actually... There doesn't seem... Okay. I was gonna say, that seemed to be an exit on the other side, but that was really just draw distance. Really, really bad draw distance. Uh, the cave did not finish rendering. Um, the Animus is having troubles rendering the cave. This virtual reality simulation has failed. Um, let's see. Does this go up? It goes up. And then back down. Um, I'm not going to equip a torch underwater video game. No matter how much you want me to equip underwater torches. Um, although I would imagine, um, if I was playing as one of the present day characters, they have the, uh, they probably could equip underwater torches. So, there's at least that, but Cassandra, not exactly in her abilities. Like, there are, Cassandra's all getting excited over this guy who's got a hidden blade. I don't think she's worried about, uh, underwater lighting just yet. Ooh. More decorations for the boat. Oh, there are people down here. I have to wait for you to. I'm just going to kill him. 
So what is the point of this very large underwater area? I wonder if this is actually part of a quest and I'm just showing up here a little bit early. Kind of like uh, earlier on in the game, uh, there was this whole quest line involving... I'm walking here. What do you think you're doing? Why is it so dark uh, in this very specific portion of the cave? Also, who am I fighting? I can't even see them properly due to the weird, weird lighting that's going on here. It's like, uh, this area looks like snow, but it probably isn't. There. I don't know if that's an error in the lighting engine or because this place seems fine. Like, this place doesn't seem like it's falling apart. Oh, there was a quest item. So I guess there probably was a, a point for me to go here. And I just showed up way too soon. But at the very least, the quest item is still there. Unlike uh, the case... Oh, I started talking about it, but then I forgot. Uh, is the, uh, the fake Minotaur. Uh, because, well, let's, let's go up here. Um, because the thing with the fake Minotaur is, uh, you had to first complete the tests in order to challenge the Minotaur. Um, so if you weren't, you didn't complete the quests, there was nobody to set up the fake challenge. So I guess that makes sense why the quest wasn't there for you. But it, it was interesting that Cassandra was still able to kind of remark over uh, what the uh, environment of the test area, uh, the test chamber, uh, before the quest actually showed up. Because that still makes sense. To be able to comment about, huh, hey, these bodies seem placed here. Hmm. Am I allowed in this military camp? No, I'm not. That is okay. Uh, what else is in here? There's some war supplies. And that's it. Not too much... Oh, hello. I was gonna say that it doesn't seem to be much going on here. But clearly I'm not seeing the entire picture. Now, can I be... stealthy about this? The answer is yes. Maybe. At least for a little bit. Hmm. Now, shall I circle around and go after... ...this guy? I wonder who spotted me. Huh. Gonna find out what that is. Yeah, go take a look. Whoops.
Ah, damn. That did not work out. So... So it seems that as long as nobody sees you murder somebody... Yeah, somebody saw me. Oh, this guy? Right here? That is a very odd placement of a bounty, considering... Wait, how did I... How did I... Sheesh. I spend, like... 70 hours playing the game, and only now see certain dodge animations, because I never press the button uh, all the way. Um, I'm gonna save my assassin ability against, uh, the guy who's paying the bounty. Oh, hello. Let's, uh, head back inside. It seems that, uh, we're, uh, passing by some... Some other, uh, guards. Excellent. That was a very convenient way of, uh, of dealing with the bounty. Um, also, let's see. So there is a treasure for me to loot. It is now looted. And war supplies. But I will not set fire to them just yet. Because this prisoner probably... I don't want this prisoner to die in a horrible fire. That is an excellent plan. Okay, she's not exactly that fast. Why were they holding an old lady hostage? Mistios, thank you. Those fuckers thought they could hold me, <laughs> but they just didn't understand. No prison can hold me. They had imprisoned her for her attitude. Not even that stupid order. Right. They were ruining my favorite wine drinking view with all their mercenaries. No one wants to see trashy mercenaries around their homes. No offense. None taken. You know. I'm not a trashy mercenary, so that insult was not directed towards me. I'm a high quality mercenary. I can kill some mercenaries for you. Fuck yes. There's three mercenaries, remember. Once they're gone, I'd love to share a cup of wine with you in my spot. Even if you are a mistios yourself. I'd like that. I can deal. Although, you know what? That has to be the flimsiest... The flimsiest excuse for a quest um, that I've received in this game. Aside from the fact that apparently this DLC starts with um, Cassandra and crew uh, planning to help somebody move. Using their warship to help somebody move. Aside from that, and we still don't even know who we were planning to help move. That is the mystery. Um, 
This person wants me to kill three mercenaries because they are ruining her view. I mean... Oh, hello. Oh, my. Does this guy know I'm here to kill him? Interesting. Hmm. I was not expecting that. Oh well. He's dead now. And now here is Theos, the Stargazer. Died because he was too busy looking at the stars. Oh! But his animal, uh... Almost kept him from being a... His animal is annoying and bouncy all over the place. All right, final. Okay, so he's dead. Okay, let's let's just make that quick. Ooh. And now for the final mercenary that is ruining her wine drinking view, Aegis of the North. Luckily, I am too stealthy for him. And he's dead. I'll find that foul-mouthed old lady and take her up on that wine. Now, did three people have to die so that... The old lady. Oh, she's dead. I guess I'll just have to get drunk by myself. What happened? Some mercenary came out of nowhere and stabbed her in the back. She stumbled back here mumbling something about how they weren't going to ruin her view. So long, crazy old lady. This wine's for me. Thanks for the view, old lady. You can't hide forever! I'm coming for you! Huh? Oh, okay. Exadios the Backbreaker. Must be defeated. 
that that was probably way more enthusiasm than I normally put into things. <laughs> But yeah, uh, apparently uh, this is the mercenary that killed the old lady and prevented us from having, from chilling with a glass of wine, enjoying a view that we clearly deserved, that uh, was worth the cost of three lives. And he has no animal buddies. Oh my. I was expecting somebody with the name Backbreaker to be larger. Although, you know, if this guy's supposed to be somewhere in this, uh, triple peninsula, there really aren't that many places for him to be. There's not really that many locations in Macedonia. Like, uh, I've already kind of explored pretty much all of this place, so I wonder if, uh, his location is... I should be extra careful in this area. Um, going to be, uh, tied to a quest. Which I suppose wouldn't be that surprising. Anybody else? Mm. Kind of? No. Yeah. Seems as though I can't get the right angle. There. Who are you, Latos? You I could probably assassinate in one hit. Also, check out this horribly overpowered ability. His body just disappeared. killing you for gameplay reasons. I mean, it doesn't have the same ring to it. But it'll do. It's odd that the bird is able to just kind of lay waste to, uh... Uh, to animals and such. But, like, people, it can, it can only kind of bother. It, it can only just kind of harass. It does, like, a thousand or ten thousand damage to, like, a deer and kills it in one hit. But does no damage to actual people. But, like, this is a DLC uh, ability that I just unlocked. And, yep, he's gone. That feels a bit overpowered, and I guess it makes sense that I, uh, it's you have to essentially wait until... Uh, actually, you probably have to wait until you're deeper into the game to get access to it, but the, I, it, it makes sense that uh, it, it uh, isn't available until after I had already completed the game and then bought the DLC. Alright, so I've explored the Triple Peninsula, didn't find a cultist, or should I say, I keep calling them cultists. I didn't find an order member, so might as well take a break from that and do a quest. Luckily, there are a few quests to choose from, starting with 
Thank you, Malaka. And it is the proud. Strange name. Hmm. So there is a treasure. Eagle Bearer, how dare you? You saved me at the burning village and got away with it. I can't let that happen. I, Antides the Proud, will never be indebted to anyone. I've got to pay you back. I've hidden treasure for you between the pair of evergreen trees south of Potidaia, away from prying Persian eyes. Good luck. We are even now. My conscience is clear. Farewell, and I look forward to not seeing you again. Hmm. So, between a pair of evergreen trees south of Potidaia, where is... Is that Potidaia? Okay. So I should go to Potidaia. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I was, I was, I was figuring this was going to be a treasure search in which I would have to search for treasure. But there is a waypoint. It's right there. So, so I don't really have to worry about searching. I just had to read it. Technically, I probably didn't even have to read it. Oh well, it's a good thing somebody left this flaming horse here for me to ride oh. towards the destination. I wonder if it's this quest is basically just going to be show up to the desk. Oh, but it's surrounded by bears, of course. All treasures. Uh, the bears are basically the dragons of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. They hoard treasure. They don't really know what to do with it, except have it. Uh, that was not exactly an even ex- Oh, there's another bear. Why are there- Why are there so many bears and now hunters? Oh, there's a nearby camp. And I am considered hostile to the camp because the camp doesn't like people. And the bears also don't like people either. And there's another bear. Alright. So I got random stuff? Okay. All right, so what is going on over here? Fellow villager villagers of Pudaya. If you found this, you too have survived the Magistrate's treachery. I've clawed my way out with one notion in mind. Revenge. A man who calls himself the Watcher showed me a new purpose in life. From the chaos we shall bring order to the world. Join our order. Go to the military camp in the Swamp of Thermes. Take the order relic and read the note that comes with it. They will guide you to our cause. Only the bravest can face the beast. This man is Hmm. Okay, so there's a thing inside this military camp that I must collect in order to 
find the order. Now, I suppose I don't need to kill everybody inside this village. I just need to get into the animal cage. Okay, so that did not work out very well uh, in regards to my attempt at being hidden. Uh, hmm. Get out of here, and then maybe read the note. Okay, that's relative safety. Let's read the note. So that was the first one. Brothers and sisters, we are given a second chance at life. From the chaos, we shall bring order. The watch will be pleased with another ch when an. Uh, the Watcher will be pleased another shall join our ranks. He says we must exercise caution. The Tainted Ones are cunning malakis that will ruin our plans. The Blacksmith's assistant is our eyes and ears in Ampipolis City. Bring him enough bear furs to prove you are one of us. Beware the bears north of... Bring somebody bear furs? All right. How many bear furs does he need? I guess I'll go to the bear den and hunt some bears. And now that I'm here, hopefully the bear furs that I will collect from this bear will deal with any bear-related responsibilities that I might have. Oh, there is another bear. That alpha bear did not provide any bear furs. That is very disappointing. Hopefully these regular bears, these average Bears will provide the furs that I need. Yeah. There we go. That only got me three out of five bear furs. Hmm. This is very disappointing. There is a bear that is charging my horse. That is convenient, because that means there is a nearby bear. Unfortunately, this means I still have one more bear to get. Hmm. Oh, there's a bear. I will get this bear and solve my bear-related problems. And then I will be able to stop saying the word bear over and over again. Or will I? Hmm. 
So I'm supposed to take these... So it's not the blacksmith that is with the order, but the blacksmith's assistant? Or maybe the blacksmith, the blacksmith's assistant is the go-to guy because the blacksmith is always busy. Need anything mysterious? I heard you're the person to talk to around here if I have uh, bear pelts to sell. You're in the right place if you want to give me bear pelts. You can have the bear pelts. I like how every time they say bear pelts, there's an emphasis in, in quotes, just to show how mysterious the bear pelts are. Oh wait, I forgot the code. Hold on, I always do that. In the beginning there was chaos. And we are the Order. By Zeus, you're good. I'm the I best. The code. I would have needed a notepad otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 I'm a really a strict order. In the hands of the gods, but sometimes that's what they need. Oh, okay. That basically told me where I am. They told me where that guy is. Where is that guy? Oh, he's just north of here. You know, I bet the blacksmith's assistant really cared about doing a good job. Making sure all his lines were crossed and his T's were dotted. Like, he really wanted to impress. And... And I suppose you could say that's the... Uh, that would probably be the one of the more insidious aspects of like an order like this. Uh, not necessarily hiring on the true believer, but the person who just wants the reward of uh, companionship, of being amongst a group. Um, but first, let us stab this guy in the back. Did his body disappear? Uh, you can kill dogs, not horses. Or at the very least, I don't know if you can kill horses. Uh, now I'm gonna stab this invisible guy. Watcher, you are well used to the demands of secrecy, and so I'm entrusting you with this crucial task. The order is not officially in Macedonia and cannot be seen to be here. My orders on this are very clear. It is of the utmost importance that nobody knows who we are and what we're doing. The Cult of Cosmos in particular cannot learn of our presence. Well, the Cult of Cosmos is dead because I killed them, so that's not that important. To this end, I need to keep... Particular watch for cult movements. If you discover any sign or rumor of them, report to me immediately. Under no circumstance are you to speak to anyone about this. I am confident I can trust your abilities in this area. Dash P. But the cult of Cosmos is dead, so that doesn't really matter. Is he is he labeling it P because his name starts with the letter P, or because he's Persian? Thank you for watching. Questions, comments recommendations for something to play next comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com that's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com so long for now